Yeah, back to the uh, W2 DRZ station. This is KC9 VKV. Uh, good, good morning, Jim. KC9 VKV. W2 DRZ. Located near Jamestown, New York. Name's Tom, Carlos in Mexico. Hey, excuse me a little bit. I got a COPD. And I run out of air caddy. <laughs> so, uh... I gotta pace myself. Anyways, um, we're running a uh, FT1000 MP, and uh, that uh, is driving a modified uh, SB230. Uh, we're located in a little burg called Frewsburg, New York. Uh, back to you, Jim. Roger, Roger. Now you do have a uh, breathing element. Does do, does that force you to choose your words, uh, <laughs> shorter words, longer words, or, or, or do you have to work your words uh, very deliberately because of the, the your breathing pattern? No, I don't. I, I don't uh, get into that. We uh, on a cannula off a. Uh, Hot oxygen generator machine. And we, we do pretty good. We just go along here. After we chat a while, we run out of breath. <laughs> but uh, nothing special. I was quite interested to uh, listen to uh, the uh, trailer panel installation that the uh, gentleman had. Can't handle this box. Let me. Uh, Anyway, do the push to talk. Anyways, uh, I had some uh, questions about that, but he said that's eight years old. Uh, so it's it's uh, the older solar panels. We have a uh, potential. Uh, North of us is near Buffalo, Buffalo, New York. A uh, solar panel manufacturing facility. I haven't heard a heck of a lot about it recently. But um, at our age, we aren't too interested in putting that in. I was interested to see how his insulation was. But I'm not going to stick to him. Appreciate you letting me jump in here. KC9. VKB, W2DRZ. Roger, Roger, Tom. Well, you're doing a good job, sir, uh, uh, overcoming the uh, the problems. You know, uh, I would never have known that uh, had you not said anything. Uh, just uh, curious, sir. Uh, could you could you tell us your age? I'm uh, 79, just about 80. Roger, Roger. 79, almost 80. Well. Uh, how long have you been an amateur radio operator, sir? Well, I took my test in 1956. Got my license in 1957. Roger, great. That is great. And uh, it's good to have you uh, still on board, sir, uh, running the uh, dials and making contacts. Uh, and uh, could you uh, give me one more time the name of your town? Yeah, it's called uh, Frewsburg, F-R-E-W-S, D-U-R-G, Frewsburg, New York. And uh, yeah, we got rid of most of our gear. The only thing we got left is our EME, EME set up. Uh, can't, can't give it away. We had a 16-foot dish with LIS control on it. And uh, we uh, have a little amp that does about uh, 600 watts output. A lot of fun on EME, but can't do it anymore. Quite good. Roger, Roger. Now, I'm not familiar with that uh, term. Is that, uh, is that a dish or is that uh, a dipole or what kind of antenna is that? 
Well, it's uh, Earth, Moon, Earth is what I'm talking about. EME Moon Bounce. And it's a 12 foot, a 16, 16 foot parabola dish, over. Oh, Roger. Well, it looks like a, a an old uh, C-band dish, but it's running um, a higher frequency, Roger? No, no. C-band was 3, 3.5 gig. I'm running 1.3 gig. 1296, over. Oh, Roger, Roger. So a, a lower frequency, so your your uh, gain factor on that 16 is, what, about half what it would be at its normal frequency? Oh, boy. No, no, no. It's... Uh, uh, I'm trying to think what the extra gain was on that. I don't remember. 42 dB, something like that at 1.3 1. 1. gig. It's progressive uh, uh, on the gain. Diameter by frequency gives you extra gain. If it's within tolerance. Anywho, uh, we had a lot of fun up there on the moon. Uh, I can't, uh, can't get out and uh, do the maintenance on the, on the equipment. So we uh, got rid of most everything. Got rid of all my KWs. And one time we had 38, 34, 36 fish antennas up. Got rid of all that stuff. Took all the towers down. So anyway, um, back to you, Jim. Go ahead. Roger, Roger, Tom. Well, you know, all them ants up there on the moon are getting irradiated by all these folks that are doing this uh, moon bounce stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine the amount of RF that's uh, hitting the moon there, uh, you know, trying to get a bounce back? I mean, gosh, uh, I mean, it takes a, a bunches of uh, ERP to, uh, you know, to get a, to get a bounce back. So uh, I imagine we're irradiating those ants up there pretty bad, Roger. Well, I don't think it's us ants doing it. Be more uh, interested in... The commercial uh, people. Uh, yeah, the U.S. military uh, used to run an EME uh, uh, system, uh, depending where they were at, they anywhere from 12 to 24 hours a day. And uh, they didn't play around. They, they run major power. Go ahead. Oh, Roger, Roger. Yeah, and that's a sister to uh, the HARP operation up in uh, Canada, you know. they I forget how many uh, kilowatts, uh, something like uh, 750 kilowatts RF into uh, ungodly amounts of uh, uh, directional antennas. I forget what the uh, total ERP was, but they create their own aurora. And uh, after about three minutes of this aurora creation, they can turn their stuff off, and the aurora remains uh, in a, intact. You know, for what they uh, what they stimulated the uh, the atmosphere to create it. Uh, it just keeps on there, even though they have their power off. Roger. Yeah, it, uh, that uh, whole process was quite interesting. From the standpoint that uh, uh, there's a lot of things they never did put on the final PA. They were scared too good. Oh, Roger, what kind of wattage were they talking about on the final PA? Oh, Roger that, Roger that. Now, as far as you're concerned, uh, did did you have uh, some successful uh, moon bounces? Oh yes, yeah. We uh, uh, sixteen foot dish is reasonably consistent on one point three gigs. Uh, you remember the guys on what it's called Kennedy? 
28-foot Kennedy bridges. They uh, came off the new line when they shut that down. Roger, stand by, please. Roger, Tom. Well, listen, uh, buddy. I'm, uh, I've enjoyed the uh, QSO, uh, and uh, you know your interest in uh, moon bounces and stuff is uh, truly admirable. And I know what it is like to get older and not be able to do your maintenance. Uh, I'm uh, 73, so I'm, you know, uh, kind of uh, have to back off on my tower excursions just a tad. I don't go all the way to the top anymore, you know. I go about half. <laughs> I go about halfway to the top. Now I'm talking about climbing. I'm not talking about mental capabilities. But anyway, uh, Tom, let me say threes to you, sir. We've enjoyed it, and I want to point out that we are running a, a QSO vlog today, and we have been recording our QSO. And uh, if you happen to have the chance. In the next uh, two or three days, uh, we'll have this posted on YouTube. If you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor, that will uh, take you to the QSO Vlog page. And uh, right at the uh, top of that page uh, is uh, one uh, entity that has like 180 some odd uh, QSOs. And if you click on that, uh, you'll find uh, our QSO here uh, right at the top, uh, just under Art Bell. Roger, roger. Roger, roger, Jim. Uh, good enough, I'm going to uh, let you know. Stand by for the K2 when he called in. Uh, go ahead, Jim. Roger, roger. Three's underway, Tom. Appreciate it, sir. And uh, you have a real good day.